Hi guys, it's Baldrick here, and in today's episode, I would like to cover some things that NVIDIA, NVIDIA Shadow Player has really failed to uh, address, and that is regarding high refresh rate monitors, and I guess dual monitors. So the dual monitors thing is easy. If you're using dual monitors to record, I highly recommend that you uh, disable Aero, or you, uh, if you're getting issues, that you disable the Aero in Windows 7, or in Windows 8 you turn off all of the, I guess, animation features that comes packed in with Windows. So that's basically the easy issue. So what I'm facing here with NVIDIA Shadow Play, which is my main source of recording at 60 frames a second, is that I get really terrible stuttering in my videos. Like, it's not even stuttering, it sort of just... Uh, duplicates frames instead of having the next frame and then it goes on to the next one so it's very weird and it causes a very laggy experience for the viewer. I have found a way to minimize this and make it almost unnoticeable or basically unnoticeable and still maintain a decently high refresh rate. So basically if you're playing at any higher than uh, 60 hertz on your monitor so say you've got a gaming monitor like me like a BenQ that's running at 144 hertz there is a way to fix this so the first way I know the first thing I noticed is I recorded uh, different scenarios on Black Ops 2 I also tested this on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare that you need to uh, realize that the actual uh, when you play it at 144 hertz, it causes the most stuttering. Obviously, uh, the NVIDIA Shadow Play developers, it is, in still, it is still in beta, so I can't complain there. But they really need to address this issue because uh, a lot of games are on PC actually are using high refresh rate monitors, whether that be 120 hertz or 144. Uh, especially if you're using a 144Hz monitor, this applies to you, even a 120Hz monitor. So, uh, basically, I'll show you some uh, stuttering that you can probably notice in this video. I'll go through it frame by frame so you can see exactly what I mean. So, it's it's uh, recording nicely here. I'm going frame by frame. As you can see, it's nice and smooth until we get here. I'm going back and forth. It is a duplicate frame, so that's no good. You don't want to see that in your recording, but wait. doesn't stop there. Another duplicate frame. So we keep on going. Another duplicate frame. So this happens many times throughout the video. It, it's another duplicate frame, so it ha gets about eight duplicate frames there. So then we go here again. Same issue. I'll show you another duplicate frame. Uh, yep, duplicate frame there. I'm going uh, back and forth on the... F wait. Yeah, I'm going back and forth on the frame, and it is the same. So it just stops there. Then again, another duplicate frame, and I'll play it back, and it looks a bit stuttery. Like, you can't really notice it, notice it there too much, but it is a bit annoying. And then it happens another time. So uh, keep in mind, this is with V-Sync off. So this is just playing at 144 hertz, as you would when you're gaming with V-Sync off, because you don't want to enable it when you're playing... Uh, competitively or anything like that. And that obviously causes some pretty bad recordings. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't found a way to play at 144 hertz without getting this terrible stutter. But there is an easy compromise that I have come to the conclusion will fix your issue. If you are willing to play at 120 hertz, which, to be honest, there isn't too much difference. Uh, you're going to be fine as long as you enable VSync as well. So you're going to have to have a pretty powerful graphics card to actually have the VSync hit your monitor refresh rate. So that's not really a problem for me because i got a 780 Ti. But it could be a pretty big issue for a lot of other users. And using applications like DX Story to record 60fps does take up a lot of space. And I mean 15 gigabytes a minute. That's what I was getting. So that is a big pain, but the solution is basically the easiest solution to make it work the best is to just set your monitor refresh rate to 60 hertz. That's going to definitely get rid of your problem and turn VSync on as well. You're not really going to get any issues there. Maybe you might drop, duplicate one or two frames at most. That's what I found. But uh, when you uh, 
go to 144 hertz. Obviously, somehow it stuffs the entire thing up because maybe since it's recording at 60 hertz, it doesn't really uh, scale to 144 hertz properly and it stuffs it up. I'm not sure. I'm not really into that, so I, I don't know. But sent I tried out 120 because I thought since 60 goes into 120, it shouldn't really affect it too much, and I was pretty much right. So this is. 120 hertz with V-Sync off. So we did get a. This was probably the biggest stutter that I found. It wasn't that bad. And then from there on, there were just little stutters that you can't really notice. I've put a mark at all of them. This is in Sony Vegas, by the way, guys, if you didn't know. And yeah, it's not too bad. It's not as bad as the 144 hertz one. But if you want to keep your high refresh rate, uh, all you have to do is enable VSync and you get smooth quality video like this. Uh, this was in Black Ops 2, I was testing, and apart from, I was playing against bots here just to test it out quickly, and it only had one bad lag spike in the entire video, which was great. After that, it smoothed itself out smoothed itself out and we didn't see any issues which was great and the same sort of thing when I tested it out again in a proper multiplayer match to see how it really performs uh, it got one I guess you can call it sort of decent lag spike at the start but right after that it became really smooth and the only other lag spike I detected was about one or two duplicate frames, so you can't even notice it, so that's perfect, you're not going to notice it, I rendered it out, it looked perfect, and apart from that, it ran perfectly smooth at 60fps, and you couldn't tell the difference between using a PVR or using this NVIDIA Shadow Play. So one thing that I have to also address is that I am running a very overclocked system, I've overclocked basically all the components in my system, uh, the only thing I tested if it affects the shadow play is I turned off my graphics card overclock and that did not make a difference. So if you're considering that, I wouldn't really bother doing that either because, yeah, it's not going to do anything. And that's, I also tested a lot of other things. I changed resolutions. I also uh, tested out in a lot of games. This happened in Battlefield as well. I'm pretty sure... Uh, this fix would apply to all games because it works in Advanced Warfare and this. So it's very simple. You just go to your uh, control panel, your NVIDIA control panel, go to monitor properties and switch it to 120 hertz. And remember when you enter games just to switch it to 120 hertz as well and you should be fine. So I really hope this has solved the issue. I know I've gone on for a while now. I apologize for that. But it's very important that NVIDIA hears of this issue and I really hope they hear of it and I hope this has helped you out to minimize your NVIDIA Shadow Play stutter because uh, all that money you've invested into your great graphics card should be able to output great video at a high refresh rate and I'm sure by the time it's released it should be working properly on any refresh rate monitor and keep in mind that uh, personal video recorders such as the Elgato can't even record at 120, can't even capture 60 hertz from 120 hertz. So that's great that we can do that and still enjoy our game. I did notice a teeny bit of input lag with VSync on, but it's totally worth it to get that smooth recording experience. And if you really want to play competitively, uh, just record like that and then play for the rest of the time how you usually would. So that's my recommendation, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video, so that were my four tests I did. I did another two tests on go on Not Ghosts, that was a bad game on Advanced Warfare. So this one here that I'm playing now was the 144Hz with V-Sync. This, no, sorry, it was 120Hz with V-Sync, not 144. This was 144Hz without V-Sync. Uh, this was obviously 120 hertz with V-Sync on, and this was 120 hertz with no V-Sync. So, it sort of has to do with your frame rate, obviously, and your refresh rate. So, just keep it to that, and you should be fine if you're a 
if you're into YouTube like me. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, tell me if this has helped you, because I would really appreciate it. And if you know anyone in, in video who can, I guess, work on this project, uh, definitely uh, tell them about this video, because it may help them out and hopefully solves a few issues as well. I'm sure they probably already know something about this, because not many people compared to 60 hertz monitors have 144 hertz gaming monitors so once again thanks for watching i hope you learned something and yeah i really hope you enjoyed this i guess public announcement video see ya